Have that dominant win over Boston College, uh, not only for you personally, but, but just as a defensive unit um, after giving up a lot of points to Louisville. Oh yeah, definitely. It felt it felt real good. You know, anytime you go, you know, keep a team with the ten points or less, you know, and just put on a dominant performance like you said, it's always real big. You feel real good as a defense, and you know, we made some mistakes in the game too. You know, we got to have to learn from to get better. So, just really, it just helps us towards where we want to be at the end of the day as a defense. Was it hard to come off the field early with all the, the friends and family that you had in attendance? Oh yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. My family and friends definitely showed up there. Early. You know, just having all of them there, it was a lot of fun. You know. Playing back home and in the familiar place and the state is so it's so weird now actually playing in the stadium. I've always you know been to a lot of games and been around and seen the stadium and the campus and everything. But it's just it was just funny and weird to actually be there playing a game. How uh, how the saga of getting tickets end? How many did you get? Oh, I got about nine, 80, 90 or so, and then about another 50, 60 people got tickets. You know, just buying them themselves. So I had about one hundred fifty people there. So. <laughs> Which was, real, which was real neat, you know, that everyone just came out showed a lot of love, which, which felt good for sure. Dabble called last year's performance against the Wolfpack the worst defensive showing of the year. Just your impressions on that and what was it like as a defensive unit to go back and review that film from last year? Well, yeah, definitely. Like, he, what, he, what he said was, was, was pretty accurate. I mean, we didn't play good at, against them at all. Good thing our offense was on point that day because or else we, we might have taken a loss. But yeah, just just looking back, looking back at it, I mean, there's a lot of ways we can improve. We can get a lot better and put on definitely a better performance this time. What happened to you? Was it your ankle or your foot? Uh, my ankle, but I'm fine I mean, and everything. Now I practiced yesterday. I'm gonna get treatment all weekend. And just got rolled up on a little friendly fire from my tag, but it's all right. You know, you're, it's all good now. So you're in a boot afterwards. Uh, yeah, just 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 being safe and just just being sure and everything. But now I'm fine walking around without a boot all week. Wow. I'm crushed when you said you're gonna milk it. No, week. yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I was messing with him a little bit after the game, but yeah, I might have to sit this up this next week out and stuff. Might have to be in a yellow jersey for practice and everything. Just, just being fun. <laughs> how much of last year was it was Brissett? Because obviously he was just a tough guy to bring down. And how much of was it their scheme and, and even some of the other playmakers that are back this year? Right. Yeah. Well, um, Brissett was obviously he was a he was just a heck of a competitor. Just played real hard and. It was real tough to bring down. Like you said, we had a lot of opportunities to get him down, bring him down for sacks, and we just couldn't because he was just so big and just just really just tough and competitive and everything. And they still got a lot of those guys back there running back, and they're like H-back type of guy. They're both coming back, and I thought those guys were both really good, talented players. So, we, you know, they're, they're going to present a lot of challenges for us, but we're just going to have to have a good week of preparation to be ready for them. From an endurance standpoint, how hard is it as a defense when the offense is scoring five touchdowns in a total of like 12 plays in two and a half oh, minutes yeah. um, towards the end of the Louisville game? Obviously, it had to take its toll. They ran about 100 plays against you. Right. Um, wasn't so much of a problem against Boston College, although he scored quickly in that one too. But how hard is it? How, how tired do you get when that happens? I mean, well, well, we've kind of been like working toward. We practice hard and every day in practice, try to make it as game like as possible. Obviously, you don't really. Rep, prepare to rep for a hundred reps, good on good or anything. But I mean, as long as we're scoring, you know, we, we st it's still our job to stop the stop the uh, opposing team. So we just you know toughen up and just you know, even if we're tired, we're gonna fight through it just just so we can get the result we want.